My name is Dr. Jermaine Wright, and I serve as the Vice President for Student Affairs. Yesterday marked the 21st anniversary of September 11, 2003, when terrorist attacks sought to shake us to the core. But as a nation, we were resilient, we are united, and we endured because of the help of firefighters, police officers, servicemen and women, and everyone on the ground. During that day, I remember vividly as an undergraduate student at Binghamton University, going to a 8.30 a.m. class. And as I was leaving the dormitory, I saw one of my classmates watching TV, and I thought it was a movie. It seemed so surreal and unreal. I saw as the plane hit and entered into the airspace and struck one of the towers. I didn't think anything of it. As I said, I thought it was a movie. When I got to campus, the classes were closed, classes were canceled. But what evolved from that, from a curricular standpoint, was mid-semester courses that focused on international terrorism, led by Ali Mazrui, who has since passed away, and also by Robert Ostergaard. It changed the fabric of our being. It changed the ways in which we, as one nation, came together under one flag, one origin, one being. I want to give a shout out to our current veterans and military service folks here at Lehman College, in particular, our Veterans Club, for their service. I also want to highlight and acknowledge our public safety officers and our officers generally who continuously serve the community. As well as any faculty, staff, who played a significant role or who has lost anyone during that time and for the loss of lives of anyone within our Lehman community. Today is the remembrance of that tragic event. Today's program, you will hear from our SGA president, John Soto. You will also hear musical selections. Amazing Grace performed by Joanna Garcia Lara, vocal. And you will hear from Professor and graduate program coordinator of music, Penny Prince. We'll have an additional music selection by Armando Rodriguez Taps on the trumpet. We will also hear the tolling of the bell to acknowledge the individuals who have lost their lives here in the Lehman College community. Again, thank you for being here with us this morning as we remember those, remember the tragic events, but also remember how we came together as one nation and we endured and we res are resilient and continue to do so now. Thank you.
Thank you. I'd next like to bring up to the podium our SGA president, John Soto. Hello, everyone. To the families of the victims, my deepest condolences. Yesterday, we recognize the 3,000 Americans who lost their lives, as well as the families to this day mourn their deaths. Today, we come together for a somber event of remembrance. 21 years and one day ago, America was attacked, both here in New York City and in Washington, D.C. We also remember the heroic acts on board Flight 93, which brought forth the unfortunate demise of the brave passengers on board. It's a very grim day for America. Although this is a very dark moment in our nation's history, a very thin silver lining shines bright through the darkness. Around this time every year, a hyperpolarized nation comes together to remember those fall. A divided nation becomes one. Regrettably, every day we see instances of brother attacking brother simply based on differences in ideology. We must remember the notion that a house divided cannot stand. We should use this day as a beacon of inspiration, a lodestar to remember that America is one and we must do our best to keep it one. My father, a great man, a man of reason, instilled in me the philosophy that the greatest idea we have is the idea of loving our neighbor as we love ourselves. I see this not only as a concept originating from the teachings of Christ, but as a technology. A technology capable of thrusting mankind millennia ahead into the future. Collaboration and respect rather than competition and hatred is the solution to creating a better world for tomorrow. We must start somewhere, so start here and start now. As difficult as it may be, do not use this day as a call for retribution, but rather as a call for a better future ahead, a future where we are one. So thank you all very much for your time. Now we will have our second musical selection done by Armando Rodriguez, Taps on His Trumpet.
Thank you all. That concludes our 9-11 remembrance event. Remember that our strength is our unity. Thank you. Thank you.